Good afternoon. Could I have you raise your right hand, please? To solemnly swear or affirm in the penalty of law that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Okay. Thank you. Could you please tell us your full name and spell your first, middle, and last names? Uh, Ashley Veronica Moser, A-S-H-L-E-Y, B-E-R-O-N-I-C-A-M-O-S-E-R. Mr. Brockler, you may proceed with your direct examination. Thank you. Um, and and ma'am, you're a bit soft-spoken to the extent that you can. Thank you okay. so much for doing that. Yeah. Um, would you tell us what you do for a living these days? Um, I'm not working right now. I was in school, but I took this semester off. So. Are you going to be going back to school? Yeah, I go back in the fall. Okay. And what are you studying? Now I'm studying social work. Okay. I want to ask you about July the 19th and 20th of 2012. Can you tell us if you went and saw a movie that night at the Century 16 Theater? Yes, I did. I'm going to ask you to tell us who you were with, and then we're going to backtrack a little bit and talk about how you got there, okay? Okay. Tell us who was with you at the movie that night. Um, Jameson uh, Toes, which was my boyfriend at the time. Uh, Veronica, my daughter, um, Kaylin, uh, Jameson's cousin, and Haley, her friend. All right. H how old were you back then? 25. How old was Veronica? Uh, six and a half. Was Veronica your only child? Yes. The other two girls that you named, how are they related to you, or how did they come to be there with you? And, and let me back up then. For earlier that day, what had brought Veronica together with Haley and Kaylin? Um, well, I needed somebody to babysit Veronica for my ultrasound earlier that day. Why did you need an ultrasound? Um, because I had just recently found out that I was pregnant. So we were going for an ultrasound, and there was no kids allowed back there. So Kaylin, so we dropped Veronica off at Kaylin's for, so that she could babysit. Did you go to the appointment? Yes. Did you get good news? Yes, I did. And did you come back to be with Veronica and Kaylin and Haley? Yes, yeah. Did you share that news with them? Yes. What ensued? What happened as a result? I'm sorry. What did you do after you shared the good news with them? Was it, uh, um, did you take steps to celebrate? Yeah, uh, we had stopped at Papa Murphy's to grab a pizza, um, came back and ate pizza, and we had thought about going to the movies that night, and uh, Kaylin had mentioned that the Batman premiere was that evening, so we decided to go ahead and see that movie. Was the mood pretty light and excited? Yeah. Um, that's late to go see a movie with a little one? Yeah. Did, did you know what kind of movie it was when you talked about it and agreed to it? No, I did not. Um, uh, <laughs> sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I didn't. I thought when Kaylin had said the new Batman movie, I just, I don't know, I remember the Batman movies when I was younger, and I just had assumed that it was going to be like a family movie. Not as, not as dark not and graphic. Not as dark as, and graphic as I thought it was. Nonetheless, did you guys go a little early? We did, yes. To get seats? Yes. What time do you think you got there? Um, probably like 10, 15, 10, 30. And uh, who saved seats? Uh, I did. And when you saved seats, where did everybody else go? Uh, to the arcade. 